What's up guys? Today is Matco Day. So Michael just pulled up. Let's go take a look, see what he's got on the truck. Trying to go in gear. So enough. Got anything new this week? Uh, I don't know if we looked at these last week or not. These are the new, couple new items here. Yeah. Bleeder wrenches for those hard to reach bleeder screws. They also made just like them that way. They won't turn and twist. I don't know if you've ever did a whole lot of bleeding brakes, but it's, you get the wrong wrench on them, you made your life. So what all sizes are those? Let's see, it goes from a seven all the way up to an 11. I've never actually had to have a bleeder screw that was up to an 11, but I'm sure it's out there. Right. Um, some different looking little fellas, aren't they? Yeah, well, if, you, if you've ever done a whole lot of bleeding brakes and stuff like that, you know, sometimes it, you just can't get around stuff. So, we, uh, I saw one set, was actually able to get another set in, that way we could do the video on them. And the guy that bought them said he really likes them. They don't try to round the, the bleeder right. out, so, which, you ever run one of those things out, it makes your life hell. But mm -hmm. the next thing, I don't know if we looked at these or not or not, but these are our new uh, tools to get like hoses and stuff off with. Yeah. So it's a remover and an installer. I'll show you that. I like them because of the, the handles on them, which just got the spoon design there. Yeah. I like these a little better than the picks because if you ain't real careful with the picks, poke you, a hole you could poke a hole in it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know when you'd actually have to use a hammer on it to do it. But they do have a striking cap. It does have a striking cap, which it'll work on the intakes and stuff like that of the little metal hose, hoses and stuff that go on there. So yeah. kind of cool there. You ever seen anything like that? No. I like the way those ends are made. That's what I was saying. I like the way they they're cut. So next time Wendy don't give you a spoon with your chili, baby, you can use that. There you go. And yeah. we ain't got a special order. Let's see. There they are. Mm -hmm. What's your price on that? Let me look and see. What are you doing, Sam? I'm just looking. Right for small. Cars and stuff like that. You know, we got the big old truck, so they just don't run quite small. They also come out with a new spark plug removing set. It's got all the different sizes and stuff. It's a really cool set as well, but it lasted all of about an hour on the truck. And, uh, <laughs> Everybody likes the new stuff. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. And I had a guy that that liked some of it so well that he just bought all of it. So he's the same guy that bought those and um, bought some other stuff. So that's fine. And then, yeah. That's 
it's one of my more popular lights there. Is it magnetic too? I think it comes with a magnetic base with it. I know I sold one earlier. Me, a, light, a good light got to have a magnet and got to have a hook. It's got to be rechargeable. You know, I can get some bigger sizes than any bill. Yeah. Nine and a ten. What size do you wear, Bill? Normally in a boot, a size 12. So or, be a size 11. 12 to 13, depending on how it's made. Show everybody your shoes, Bill. I don't know how to blow out, man. You know how to blow out. Lost a cap. I didn't do a pre trip, being like a truck driver. Yep, done a burnout and then blowed out this morning. Look at that, the Matco logo light too. That's the lights. Hmm. That is cold right there. I can't see nothing now. I turned it on right in my eyes. Like a genius. That grew up some pools. Hey, that's it. That is it, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Alright, what's the part number on that? Because everybody's going to ask. So we can cut that off at the head. QRP45. QRP45. Yep. And that's a ratchet and airline puller. That's it. Well, it may not be what it's designed for, but. Well, no, it says for trucking, plumbing, industrial, and automotive, so. Why not, right? What is that, about $35? Uh, I don't know how much it is. <laughs> I'm going to say no on that deal. It might be $25. Especially the month. $25. I can get it to you for about $175. but it's easier to get to. Squeeze on them. But. 
Is them lifetime warranty? Uh, let me look and see. That's a one year warranty on One year warranty. Hmm. I don't know that we won't break on. Bill, you use something for a pro. How's that make you feel? Yeah, that says for probably use only, Bill. I don't know. I think I've uh, broke the law now. Is you qualified to use that? No, uh, we won't tell anybody. We'll say you was. We yeah. might pull them stickers off here before we get in buy that. <laughs> Alright, guys. As y'all seen, uh, Michael had some stuff on the truck. And we finally found something today that he had on there that we didn't have. It's kind of a funny little story because me and Bill was just talking about the airline disconnect tools and um, Bill said, I wish they made one that you could just squeeze and it released the airline. And I said, kind of like a wire stripper, you know, the way it's designed. And that light bulb went off in Michael's head and he said, hey, I got one of those. So he goes over there and he digs around and as you've seen, he pulled out this kit. So I bought it. It was $175. It's called a Ratchet Master. The part number is a QRP45. And inside, it's got four different airline disconnect tools. So it comes with a large vertical, a large small vertical, a large angle, and a small angle. And it goes from a 1 8 airline up to a 3 8 on the small or a three millimeter to a 10 millimeter. And on the large, it goes from a three eighths to a five eighths or a 12 millimeter to a 23 millimeter. So this set's really cool. As you've seen, we tried it out before we bought it and that's why I bought it because of the way it popped that airline off there. So it even comes with a little baby CD in case you need to watch a little baby CD. But anyway, it says for pro use on there, so we may not even supposed to be using these things. So I think we're going to chance it. We're going to break the law and do it anyway. Anyway, that's my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Just smash that bad boy like a sore finger. And click that subscribe button. It's free. It ain't going to cost you a dime. Just click that button. Anyway, you guys have a great weekend, and we will catch y'all next time.